Okay, everyone, you are going to get a real kick out of this short little episode. Uh, it's amazing what you can do when you have a lot of time on your hands just because you finally have a holiday weekend and you don't have to think about your real job. <laughs> um, so I'm playing around in my little makeshift studio here. And check this out. I have one, two, three, four cameras in front of me right now. And I wanted to do this just, well, I'm just having fun, first of all, but two, I wanted to test out what it's like to record using one microphone through one device and seeing how the sound matches up with the other video recording. So here's the scenario. The phone that I'm recording from, as far as the audio is concerned, is my iPhone 7S. And the iPhone 7S records in 4K and 1080p. I actually have it set up right now to record in 4K. And I'm using the Klipheiser <clears throat> digital microphone to record the audio. So that's where the actual audio is coming from. The comparison really uh, that I'm making is mainly with the video quality to see how the recording from my phone compares with three other cameras. Now, what are they? Well, the camera that's here in front of me is one I actually pulled out of storage. It's the iPhone 5S. It was the first time I, was, I purchased the gold color phone. And it comes with 1080p HD video recording, as long as you're not using the FaceTime camera. So that's what I'm using now. I'm using 4K video with my iPhone 7S. Uh, to my left, I'm also recording myself with the iPad. The iPad also records with 1080p HD video, as long as you're not using FaceTime, which is 720p. So I'm at least getting 1080p video quality with each recording. So those are the three iOS devices, the iPhone 5S in front of me, iPhone 7S, a little to my left, and to my far left over here is my iPad Air 2. Uh, all of these devices record with 1080p video. Uh, in the case of the, the uh, 7S, I'm actually recording with 4K video. In addition to those three devices though, I'm also recording with another device over here, which is actually an HD camcorder, which I just reviewed not too long ago, the um, Logitech Brio. It records with 4K video as well. So I'm recording with the maximum quality using that video cam as well. Now what's really interesting though for me is to see how the USB recorded video matches up with the other video recordings. Is, you know, is there a lag? in the recording in terms of how my voice matches with the other, vi other video recordings. That's, that's one thing I'm interested in. I just never have done it before, so I'm just curious. And you may be curious too, just in case you're thinking about a multicam setup and how you wanna actually integrate audio into your studio setup. So let me know what you think. Here is the iPhone 7S recording, and here is the recording using the Logitech Brio cam, which records in 4K. I left is the recording using my iPad Air 2. All of them record in 1080p video with the exception of my iPhone 7S, which, which is 4K, which I'm looking at right here, and also the Logitech Brio, which also records in 4K. Now I'm going to take all these recordings and I'm going to combine them using a single editing program. I'm not quite sure which one, maybe uh, I'll, I will use Final Cut Pro to combine them all. So. There is some manipulation uh, that will occur because I'm, I'm gonna have to take these different recordings and then combine them into one video editing platform. But I still will be very interested to see how they all look when it all comes together. So yeah, that's the fun I'm having today and hopefully you'll like the outcome. Okay, here's a quick recap of my experience. The 4K video that I promised to use when using the Logitech Brio webcam, and I said camcorder, I meant to say webcam, so that's one mistake. Uh, also only recorded in 1080p because I actually used QuickTime uh, in conjunction with the webcam and I did not use it inside a, another software, say like uh, ScreenFlow, which does allow you to record in 4K. So that was actually 1080p video as well. Also with the iPad, there was some noticeable difference in the audio matching up with the voice. 
They may be in part attributed to my lack of editing precision in Final Cut Pro. I basically had to layer each video on top of each other. And I basically just took out the opacity at different moments when I wanted to emphasize the different perspectives. Um, that may have been a little bit of error on my part. So that's just something you have to keep in mind. Uh, it seemed to be okay at the very first frame. Um, so that may very well be a little bit of lag uh, when recording from the iPad. What was really interesting though is that the voice pretty much seemed to match up when compared to the webcam, which is really interesting. I recorded using the, this, that's connected to my computer using the USB adapter. And I've never actually recorded with a USB adapter before. And I was almost certain there would be some difference in terms of how the, the voice matched up, but for the most part, it seemed to be okay. Uh, yes, you could see that the quality was a little different, but for the most part, I was, I was pleased with the overall recording. And if I actually had to do that again and composite them all into one recording, I would be happy with it. I may have to make some adjustments maybe with the uh, contrast and, and the lighting because there, there seemed to be some difference there. Although even that is probably attributed to where each device was located relative to the light source, which is basically I just have my windows open. I'm not using any artificial light of any kind. Uh, so that's my sort of quick summary of some of the things that I may have left out or did not uh, mention accurately at the beginning. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll try this again at a future time, maybe experiment with some microphones later on. See you later.